What's up guys, it's me Jamar, Remnant Outdoors. I hope you're doing great tonight or today, whenever you're watching this thing. And what we're gonna do is build the ultimate home defense shotgun. I've been piecing things together over the years. I've been making some expensive mistakes. I've been doing trial and error, a bunch of range tests. As with everything, you might have to tweak some things here and there, but generally I do believe that this build covers a large swath of the population that's able to own a firearm responsibly for home defense. So for the base of this build, I used a Mossberg 590. You guys know this is my favorite shotgun making model of all time, but Mossberg 500 series, just about everything in that line will work. If you guys have a Remington 870, the accessories are actually made for both Remington and Mossberg for just about everything on this list so you guys are not left out in the dust. So let's jump straight into the list. Number one, you need a good solid optic. I chose to use the True Glow fiber optic sight. This is great because there is no batteries involved. A fiber optic sight, it kind of sucks light in. If there's any light in the room, it kind of sucks it in. And it operates almost like a de facto red dot sight with no batteries. It's nothing you have to turn on. It's nothing that you have to forget. Oh my gosh, I left it on all night. The batteries are gone. None of that is a concern with a fiber optic sight. Uh, you just point it where it needs to go and it goes bang. Here's the great thing about the True Glow sight. The True Glow sight is a clamp on. As long as you don't have a rib at the top of your shotgun, this will fit most 12 gauge and 20 gauge shotguns if you buy the right gauge. So check that out, link in the description. Next is a light. Now a lot of people use a flashlight that's kind of cantilevered and mounted to the side. Some people have uh, lights that are kind of off their Picatinny rail. I think the best system that I've been able to discover during my trial and error period has been a four end mounted light and that's what you get with the Streamlight TL Racker. I made a video of this particular light slash four end on my channel. This thing is a thousand lumens. It cuts through the dark like crazy. I think it's an amazing value. There's a link in the description if you guys want to buy this. It's only about 110 bucks or so. so really really consider this I tried the flashlight that was kind of like diagonal to the barrel and that just kind of got in the way of my targets when I was doing some range tests but having it right under the barrel you don't even notice it highly recommend it check that thing out next the Monstrum side saddle so you absolutely need to increase the amount of ammo you could have on your shotgun most guns you could have like five plus one especially with an 18 and a half inch barrel like the Mossberg 500 series. But if you get you something like a side saddle, it increases your ammo capacity by usually five or six. So that's what this Monstrum side saddle does. You can get this off Amazon, it's a great price. You guys know anything from Monstrum is rock solid and I've really never had any problems with Monstrum. It's almost like it's over designed to be super, super sturdy and when it comes to holding shotgun shells, that's what you need. They're not super tough to where you can't pull the shells out. Uh, it's just right, this Monstrum side saddle, it actually mounts through the drilled and tapped top portion of your Mossberg. It also features a Picatinny rail that you can put on top if you want to mount a red dot, but because I'm not a big fan of red dots on home defense shotguns, I have the Picatinny rail off. Check that out, link in the description. Lastly is the Magpul SGA stock. You know, back in like the early 2000s, collapsible stocks were all the rage. Everybody wants to be able to control the length of pull. Well, Magpul came out with an amazing stock that's really, really good, high quality, good buck stock. It allows for a sling ambidextrously, if that's a word. I really like it. You can customize the length of pull with the spacers that come with it. So I did a video on this on my channel. Check it out. I really enjoy it. Um, I think it's one of the best things that you can get because like I said, you don't want to be fumbling around with a bunch of different doodads and having to change your stock length because you haven't collapsed. You don't want to be doing all those things in a situation where seconds and milliseconds matter. You want something that's fixed, customized to the length of pull you need so that you can rock and roll when it's necessary. Now lastly, I got to add an honorable mention in here. I know you guys are gonna get me by not talking about a sling. I'm not a big fan of a sling on my shotgun because I keep my gun in a sheath. Me trying to pull my shotgun out of the sheath with some type of a sling on there, it could just get kind of caught up. But I've tried things like, you know, bandoliers and stuff like that. And I've tried other slings, but you know, for what I'm doing right now, I just feel like it's not necessary for my situation. It may be necessary for yours though. If you're on a ranch, if you have to go outside, if you have a huge house, it might be worth it to throw a sling on there. 
Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not a lawyer, guys, so I want to make this absolutely clear. Please, before you deploy a shotgun in a home defense situation, make sure you know the laws in your area slash jurisdiction. You might want to check out US Law Shield. They are amazing. I got them quite a bit ago, and I haven't had any problems. If I ever did get into a situation where I had to defend myself, Lord willing, I won't ever, but if I ever did, I know they're gonna be right there. There's some amazing stories that the members of US Law Shield have about how they were literally saved from bankruptcy because they had US Law Shield. There are so many great stories. Check them out, link in the description. Make sure you tell them that I sent you, use the code REMNANT or just use the link that I got down there and they'll get you set up, man. That's all I got, love you guys. Any comments, please leave them in the comment section below. The links, like I said before, they're gonna be down in the details of the video. This video is a long time coming. I'm grateful that this is finally good and set. This is what's actually my self-defense, home defense weapon that's ready to rock. Uh, heaven forbid I ever need it, but this is what is standing by for me. Hopefully, you guys could avoid some of the pitfalls and mistakes that I made trying to get off the ground with the right home defense weapon. Talk to you soon. God bless. Stay safe. Until next time. Peace.